Hey everyone, um, second part on the file knife. I have cut it down. You can see you got the tang cut out and I've done some grinding on it and I've already hardened it and tempered it again. I've done some, so you can get that to focus. I've done some grinding on it and I left a little bit of the rough work up top and a little bit of the black on there. A little bit of an edge right there. It'll focus. And it may not want to, but that's okay. But anyway, uh, and I got some bird's eye maple uh, picked up for this and cut it out last night. Let's see if we can get it off just there. So the bird's eye maple, you can see a little bit of the markings in there. And uh, I'll show you, it does a pretty good fit already, worked on that. And I'm gonna epoxy it, glue it up. And you can see it's gonna be pretty good fit. Let me get it in there. Okay, there it is. And I just have to sand the handle, get it shaped out, and some Danish oil. And I got the wrong kind this morning. I went to get some at Lowe's and I got the cherry kind. I wanna just have it clear but start working on that tonight and get it finished up and just the first hidden tang uh, knife I've ever done I think it's done pretty well so far and I'll show you the rest of it when I get it done completely alrighty thanks okay so here is the the hidden tang knife I finished it and uh, turned out okay, I think for our first one, like I said, I left the markings on there a little bit. I didn't go for a really high gloss or mirror finish, something like that, because it's going to be basically a field knife when we go camping, you know, gutting fish, uh, cooking with, whatnot. And there's the bird's eye maple, which turned out pretty nice. I used Danish oil on it, a couple of coats of that, and I think it turned out pretty well. And, uh, I seen where some other people have put things in the uh, the end of the where the pommel is, and in this one, I am embedded a 1904 uh, Indian head penny. If it'll focus, let's see if it'll focus, and I guess it doesn't want to focus. Anyway, I think you can kind of see it a little better further away. For whatever reason, I can't get it to focus, but that's okay. You get the idea. Um, just used my Dremel with a little cutting tip on it and gouged out an area and used epoxy to get it in there and holds pretty good. And it's pretty flush. And just for a little artistic I guess addition to it but uh, that's basically it first hidden tang knife it turned out pretty good I guess uh, for a first time on that to find that the putting on the scales are easier you know than the, the hidden tang because you got to be careful where your your cavity is on the inside there and uh, well I think it turned out pretty good it seems to fit pretty good in the hand the handle's a little bit big maybe for the blade, but that's okay. No big deal. Like I said, it's going to be a, a knife round camp and for cleaning fish and whatnot. And just a little bushcraft style knife. I think it'll turn out fine for camping. If you got any thoughts or comments, uh, let me know. Appreciate it. And have a good one. Thanks.